Hi everyone! Today I have a project share video. Um, basically, late, recently I've been working on some mixed media things and I've been posting them up on my Facebook page and also on um, Facebook groups. And I'm getting a good response and so I've just decided that I would share with you YouTube what I've been doing recently. Um, also, I'm thinking that I might make this turn this into a series because I spend hours of the day just searching YouTube, searching different blogs, trying to find something very specific and what I'm looking for is I guess what my style of mixed media is in other people and it's I found a couple of blogs and I found a couple of YouTube channels but then in the end when you see all the blog posts and you see all the, the videos there's nothing left and you want more and you want more so um, I'm thinking maybe I should just make my own um, that way you know, if you can't find something, just make it, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's just an idea of mine. I'm not 100% sure because I I have a couple of process videos on my channel, but not that many because my room is really small and, um, you know, working around the tripod kind of gets a little annoying and very frustrating at times when you, you know, keep banging into it and then the video gets shaky. So um, that's the little, that's the thing that's stopping me right now. But I'm really liking the idea of making my own mixed media sort of a series on my channel so anyways it's up in the air uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on it and just let me know what you guys think so I guess the first thing I'll share is this little mini canvas I made um, I was testing this video before and the lighting might not be that very good uh, might the image might come out too bright so let me just try to get a little closer so um, I hope this is coming out good on the camera this is a I think it's like a 4x4 basically what I did the background is very busy I just sprayed a bunch of stuff and I used stencils and I did some ghosting but you it's obviously not coming up very well because I have a lot of things going on but I did use um, tissue paper and this is one thing that I love. Like, if you saw my last video, I got a haul um, from Paper Issues, and she wrapped her things in this really cool, like, houndstooth black and white tissue paper. And I'm in love with this tissue paper. You're going to see it in, in this project and something else also. I absolutely love it. I put it here, I put it here, here, over here also, sorry. And then I just, around the canvas, I put some more of this um, tissue paper. I just love it, and I'm having so much fun with it. And then I just did some flowers, and originally this was going to be like this. I did some doodling here, and this guy was supposed to be like propped up here. But accidentally I put him this way, and I liked him a lot better. And this is a uh, Dilly Beans stamp, digital stamp from Dilly Beans. And um, yeah, he's really cute, and I just glossy accented the heart. I watercolored him, and... Um, yeah, and then I just did I did this doodling over here, and the alphas are from the Maggie Holmes collection, the glittery ones, but I covered it up with some glossy accents, just so that, you know, to save the, um, the glitter from falling. And you guys, I recently bought glossy accents, I never had it, and I adore it. Like, you ever hear the Frank's Red Hot slogan, you know, I put that shit on everything? Well, that's the thing with glossy accents. I put that shit on everything. It's so much fun to use. I love it. So, um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I was contemplating glossy, putting glossy accents on the whole guy. But, um, anyway, I just put it on the heart. So this is a canvas. Uh, I think I pretty much already talked this to death. So I'm just going to move on to something else. I have this journal that I had since high school. And there's a bunch of other little things here. And I actually made a video on YouTube going through this before. Just some random stuff. So if you guys want to check it out, you know, it's one of my earlier videos. I think it's maybe my second or third. Anyway, um, so I've been just playing around with um, just drawing and stuff and making some pages. And I couldn't wait. I really wanted to play with my delusion sprays. So I made this layout. And let me just see if you can get all of it in the frame. But, um, okay, let's see if this works. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm hoping this is on in frame and not like getting cut off. I'm sorry if it is. So, um, yeah, I just basically used three colors of the Dilution sprays. I used the um, Squeezed Orange, uh, what's it called, Bubblegum Pink, and the Lemon Zest. And I just sprayed it around like what Diane does. I just put it, I wet the paper with water and then I put the spray and then I smushed the pages together and then 
so you have like the after effect over here. And then I just use some stencils, um, mostly my rib cage stencil. I don't know if it's coming out. Over here and over here. And then I use some po like the circle stencils. I only have four, but I bought ten more stencils. I can't wait to play with them because I love these things. And then I just added some of my stamps, some random things. I went through my stash, and that's when I discovered all of these things that I can use for the mixed media. So this here is the Lan Fon Zigzag, like the Chevron um, background stamp. And then I also used Lan Fon's Quinn ABCs for the title. And um, and then I have this skeleton stamp, which is like one of my favorites. So I stamped in there. I used some flower stamps, and then I don't think it's coming up, but like. The um, skeleton came up with like this little skull head, whoops, like over here. So I stamped them in Distress Ink, some of the same tone, so make like a tone on tone. So I have here, I think this is Wild Honey, and then I stamped it somewhere else in um, the Marmalade one. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, like over here, so it's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little lighter. And then I just, you know, um, played around with some background stamping, and and then I think I did the title after that. And then I just highlighted the flowers, a little, some of them here, the title and this flower, just to like make them pop, and also the skeleton. And I really liked how that turned out. I didn't do it to every flower, or every image, just like uh, a couple of them, just to kind of make it like accent. I don't know. Anyway, and then I did this whole like trick with the with acrylic paint. You know, you take the a little uh, cap of something and you dip it in the paint, and then you put them on the page. So I did that with black and white paint, acrylic paint. And then when it came to journaling, sometimes I feel like I don't really know what to say. I mean, I have thoughts and stuff, but I am I guess I'm in a contemplating where do I just use a random generic quote that I like? Because I am sharing this with, you know, with my viewers and with the public, so should I just use a random quote or should I actually just really get into it? So I'm having a little um, conflict with that, I guess, and I don't know how to explain it, but like, anyway. So I'm trying to open up a lot more into my art journals. I know this is like my second page, but still. Um, just because I wanted to add some washi. I added some washi on like just around the pages. And then I um, just bordered it around with like um, a black pen. And for the quote, it's really random stuff. I just, I was listening to music, so I just wrote about the, the song lyrics. I was listening to some Morrissey, so I wrote that, and then I wrote about how I'm proud of this page, and just random stuff. It's nothing serious, nothing special. Anyways, the next page I worked on yesterday, I think it's one of my favorite. Um, let's see. It is, like, I hope it's coming out, like, the whole image. Okay, so what I did, I used three colors again of the sprays, and I just sprayed it again. The same thing I did with the other one, squished the pages together. And, um, okay, uh, what else did I do? I like, I don't know if you guys can see the background, I did a lot, a lot of stamping. I used a lot of flourish stamps, and like over here, like this is a background stamp, Hero Arts, and this is another like little flourish, and I really like how that turned out. Um, so yeah, you can see I used a tissue paper again, because I love it, so I kind of put it in three spots. Whoops, okay. And I just really love the background and how this came out. I did use some um, stencils. I used like this one over here, and then you can see kind of like ghosting over here, and some polka dots on this page. But you can't see because the quote is covering it. And um, one of my favorite favorite elements is the little dancing skeletons at the bottom. Look at that; they're so cute. I bought the stamp set at Michaels, and I never used it. Well, it's not a stamp set; it's just one of those dollar bin ones. And I put it on the top over here too. I just love them. They're so cute. And it's like a little... I love how they look with the purple. I just... I really like how that came out. I'm really proud. And again, the image is a Dilly Bean stamp image. And um, it's a digital stamp. And I tried watercoloring this image. And I put glossy accents on her eyes. And I put glitter on her dress. And her eye uh, shadow. And on her boots. Just because... I'm going to enter this in the Dilly Beans Challenge blog because uh, this week's challenge was for glitter and I'm going to enter that. And then this is also a Dilly Beans um, stamp, like digital stamp over here. And I added some glitter on the bows. I hope that's coming out. I hope you can see the glitter and there's not too much glare. But And the quote says, it's one of my favorite um, quotes from Buffy. 
And it says, bottom line is, even if you see him coming, you're not ready for the big moments. No one asked for their life to change. Not really. But it does. So what? Are we helpless? Puppets? No. The big moments are going to come. You can't help that. It's what you do afterwards that counts. That's when you find out who you are. And it's from season two, uh, becoming part two. Anyway, um, I just really like that quote. And I put it there with some um, matte multi-medium. And then I just took my, my um, fabric Castell pit pen and I kind of outlined and then smudged it with my finger. I did that to all of the little cutouts and I also did that around the skeletons. So I think I'm just gonna whoops, leave it at that. So that's my uh, project share of my mixed media stuff. If you guys like to know more or um, are interested in my maybe series you know I'd really like to hear what you guys think so that way I can you know, maybe if you guys ask, give me suggestions of what do you want to look, what do, because I'm learning this. This is all new to me, and I'm, I'm new to art journaling and mixed media. So, in a way, we can do this together. Like, what are some things that you want to learn about that maybe I can, you know, do some research and let you guys know about them and maybe teach you in the video. I recently got the Art Journal Freedom book from Diane Dina Wakeley. Sorry, I always get those two names confused. And it's pretty cool. I mean... I haven't done any of the exercises yet. I'm still trying to just finish reading through it. And um, yeah, I also bought this book, so I'm going to be learning some more techniques and maybe I can take what I learned from here and uh, teach you guys if you are interested. So it all depends on you, all of my viewers. So just let me know, you know. I just really just want to know what you guys think and if you have any questions or anything you want to learn about. So I think I did enough talking for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this sort of video. I know it's different from my usual crafting things, but that's just what I'm into right now and I think this is what I'm going to be into for a while. So um, yeah, I hope you guys stick around and thanks for watching. Bye. I'm back. There's two things I forgot to show you guys. Um, so, so what I did with the remaining paint that uh, kind of like dripped off from the pages was I just took these tags and I wiped them into the paint and then I elaborated on that. I added some more paint, I used some stencils and what I made was um, these two bookmarks for my friends. So the first one is, oh, the lighting is horrible. So the first one is um, I embossed this skeleton in uh, like a grapefruit zinc powder so it's like a hot pink kind of. And I used some washi tape, and again, you can see that um, tissue paper in the background, and some stenciling. It's just like a mis mishmash of stencils and paint and everything. And then in the back, I used one of her favorite quotes, which is, Fate fell short. And I uh, used some, just backed it up on some pink paper, and I used some more washi. And then this is, again, that skeleton um, digital stamp from D Dilly Beans. And this one, I just colored it gray, and then I added some glossy accents on the uh, little bows so this is the bookmark for my friend and then this is another one for another friend and this one's more of a um, kind of similar but it's for a guy so I'm trying to make it a little bit more masculine um, and then the skeleton is in um, silver embossing powder from my collections and then I use some washi tape over here and then the back um, this is a quote that I got from just, I was listening to music while I was making it, so I just thought that it sounded cool, and it says, the stars, I'll sing along, and, you know, he's really into music, so I get, I kind of thought that went well, and this is just using the Halloween paper from, I forgot which collection, and then washi tape, I cut the, the little image out from the collection, and the little bats, and I added some glossy accents on them, so I forgot to share this with you guys before, so this is also what I've been doing, sort of mixed media um, ish. So yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching again. <laughs> Bye.